What's going on YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another high adventure video. So I'm fresh off of attempting to catch frogs using candy. In fact, if you want to go check out that video, that was quite an interesting experiment. Link in the description below. Now this by far to me is going to be the most difficult challenge just because I know crawdads are normally attracted to the guts, to dead fish, to the stinky stuff, and candy isn't particularly stinky. So I don't know if this is gonna work or not, but we have to give it a try. Now I've never used chocolate before in these experiments, and one of the reasons I'm using chocolate now is because I figure chocolate's gonna give me the best opportunity to have something that's gonna kind of disintegrate in that water and hopefully give off some sort of scent, some sort of attractant that I don't know if the crowdheads will be interested in or not. But in the spirit of scientific discovery, let's give it a try. Let's go ahead and hop in this river and let's see what happens. Obviously, before we get started though, I gotta make sure our bait is good. Yeah, that'll do. All right, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and get the camera set up. I have a nice little sandy area here, which should work out perfectly. Now what I'm gonna do with this chocolate, the chocolate kind of has like a waxy coating on it. I'm gonna try to rub that off. So then the chocolate kind of breaks down a little bit easier, a little bit quicker in the water to hopefully give off some chocolatey scent and hopefully attract some crawdads. Now I'm gonna just try to spread it out as much as I can. So then the crawdads aren't fighting over any one or two pieces. Kind of creating a crawdad, a, a buffet kind of scene basically. So the bait's in place. Now we just gotta wait and see if anything's gonna come around here. Oh, hey, we've got one. One's coming in hot. I don't know if he smells the, the chocolate or if he's just want meandering on the bottom here, but oh, here we go. He stumbled upon it. What's that? He's like, well, you don't find this every day. He definitely seems to be chewing on it. Oh, there's a second one. See him coming out of there of the depths. This dude's got it. Hey, he's pulling it down with him. This dude's like, both of them. They're both taking that chocolate with him. And we've got a third one. Look at this. I'm thinking they're smelling that chocolate. Look at the little antenna. They're down. This guy's going to climb. Is that like a chocolate hill here? I'll guarantee you that's the best thing he's found all day. Here we go. We got another one coming in. Look at this. Look at this. And another. Oh, yeah. They're definitely smelling that chocolate. There's no doubt about it, I think. Either that or they see the activity. We got a little time lapse. Look at the minnow starting to come around. Look, not a single small crawdad either. These are all really nice sized crawdads. Little minnow coming up to eat the camera. It's a little bit uh, ambitious there. Got a big old sucker fish up there in the right hand corner. That would normally be my crawdad bait. Now check this out. I come down uh, to take a look and they had pulled a bunch of the pieces down around some rocks. And look at this. Oh yeah, they definitely love themselves a little chocolate. That is incredible. That is a nice mess of crawdads too. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set the cameras up pointing in this direction. I go ahead and move all the chocolate down this way. Oh, hey, trout coming in. That looks like a little stalker. But look at that. That is amazing. I would have never guessed that. Like they are just totally going to town on that chocolate. So now what I go ahead and do, I get set up in a different location and we're gonna move the chocolate. Make sure it's not a fluke, but check it out. If you can see, see in the background there, there's already a crawdad coming on. He 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 senses a disturbance there, and this is this isn't more than five minutes in the water. We have a ton of little fish around. We've already got three crawdads. Oh hey, oh that's a nice size trout. Look at that. Took a bite at that crawdad there, coming up to say hello, hello. That's a pretty rainbow trout too. But look, the crawdads are moving in now. All that chocolate's starting to peel off, and just it's like creating basically a feeding frenzy. And I think. The fish, like here, another big sucker fish, the crawdads, everything is just kind of attracted to like what is going on. But I think those crawdads definitely smell that chocolate. I don't think there's any doubt about it. Look at that. That is incredible. Once again, look at that. Look, that dude's going to carry one off. Not a small crawdad in sight. I would definitely say that they're attracted to that chocolate. 100%. That is crazy. Okay, so I just got out of the water. I brought all the chocolate with me, and oh my goodness, I cannot believe how those crawdads were just devouring that chocolate. I've got it all right here. That is incredible. Let's see. Check that out. You see that edge along there? You can definitely see where they're like scraping away with their little mandibles or whatever at that chocolate. Totally blows me away. Look at that. That's actually a pretty decent chunk taken out of that one right there. Uh, just all along the edges, just scraped away. 
Man, they love that Hershey's chocolate. That's incredible. I would never have guessed that. Seriously, guys, we may have just found some of the new best bait ever for crawdads. Chocolate. Hershey's chocolate, nonetheless. I wonder if it's still good. Yeah. Mmm. That's actually really good still. One thing about the cold water is that it's actually keeping the chocolate pretty well intact. You can still see that chocolate is disintegrating, but very, very slowly, which I think is perfect because if the water were warm, that chocolate would dissipate pretty quickly and then our bait would be gone. But we've still got all our pieces of chocolate. Okay, now that we have discovered that crawdads are digging the chocolate, Let's go to the store and get some different types of chocolate. This is crazy. Let's go see if they like Reese's peanut butter cups. Uh, I don't know, Snickers bars. <laughs> we gotta go get some different stuff here and see um, if these crawdads will keep eating it. All right, we're at our local store. Here we go. The best aisle in any store. Let's see here. We gotta do some Reese's. We gotta get some Reese's peanut butter cups to try. Let's start with that. We we'll gotta do some Kit Kat bars for sure. Who knows, they might like that wafery goodness. Their second one. Oh, you know what, let's mix it up and do some Hershey's. I know we did Hershey's before, but let's try Hershey's cookies and cream. That might be interesting. Okay, so I know we've tried the Hershey's milk chocolate, but let's go over here. What do we got, specialty dark chocolate? Let's try some dark chocolate and see if they'll still eat that as well. Okay, so I just noticed the Reese's peanut butter bars. Let's do that instead of the cups, then that way I don't have a bunch of trash out there with me. I'm not individually unwrapping a bunch of peanut butter cups. So basically the same thing. I'm pretty happy with that. Reese's, dark chocolate, Kit Kats, and cookies and cream. Let's see what we can do with that. And we are back. First in the water is gonna be the crab trap. We've got all of those Hershey's chocolate bars in there. Gonna go ahead and throw a little GoPro action in there. Hopefully catch some pretty sweet trap action. That's going in the water first before our other candies. So let's go ahead and drop him in. Okay, so our crawdad trap is set. First, we're gonna test our bait. This is a Kit Kat. I have to give a quick shout out to a young subscriber named Griffin. His friends call him Griff. Um, he told me that his favorite candy is Kit Kat bar. So Griffin, this one's for you, bro. Kit Kat's going on the bottom. Let's see if the crowd ads like it or not. If you guys have any more candy ideas, let me know. Because basically, at this point, it's no secret. It's just an excuse to film a video and eat candy. Okay, gotta stay focused. But first, a word from our sponsor. Hello, gentlemen. Are you the type of guy that grabs life by the horns? Maybe you're the type of guy that doesn't split the bill on a first date. Or the kind of guy that doesn't need some half foam, triple whip, hazily, daisily, sprinkly, dinkly coffee to get his day going. No, sir. You just grab a cup of black coffee straight from the pot, and that's enough to get your engine running. So if any of the aforementioned sounds like you, then you need to go ahead and upgrade your wallet game to a brand new... Ridge wallet. The sleek, rigid design of each Ridge wallet allows you to fit it into any pocket of your trousers. Plus, each wallet can hold up to 12 cards, including cash. The Ridge team is so confident that you'll love your wallet that they'll let you test drive one for 45 days, and you can send it back with a full refund if you don't absolutely love it. Plus, each wallet is made with RFID blocking technology that protects you from digital pickpocketers. So with over 30 styles and colors to choose from, you're sure to find one you'll love. So go ahead and get yourself a brand new Ridge wallet today. Trust me, you deserve it. All right, and once again, found a nice little sandy spot here to set up. Down go the Reese's first. Now we've got our dark chocolate followed by our cookies and cream. I'm a big fan of the cookies and cream. Now check this out. We're having a little bit of trouble with the old Kit Kat because of the wafer. It's trying to float away. So what I'm having to do is actually put rocks on top of the uh, on top of the Kit Kat just to keep it down on the bottom. Uh, there you go. You see it again. Get it all set up. Now here's our trap. Nothing so far, but you can see a bunch of minnows wandering in. Now check this out right here. Look at that little guy trying to swim out, gets stuck in between the grates. Now keep an eye on him because his story isn't going to end well. We'll just put it that way. Now here we go. 
Got one coming in. Which one he's gonna go for first? Ooh! Looks like the Reese's. Looks like the Reese's. Good choice. Ooh, that's an even bigger one. Look at that. Coming in for the Kit Kat. Griffin, the Kit Kat worked. Look at that. That big one's chowing down on the Kit Kat. The smaller one's moved on to the cookies and cream. Good choice. And now check this out. We just, we, we they're all moving in now. 100% dialed in on that chocolate. We've even got them on, there you go, on the uh, dark chocolate as well. Just creating a massive feeding frenzy. Again, not a single small crawdad. That surprises me. There must be like a, a hierarchy or something within the crawdad realm. They don't, uh, the little ones stay away. Now check this out. We got a crawdad on the outside of this trap. Uh-oh. He senses a fish in danger. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That was pretty epic. Still don't have a crawdad in the trap though, but that was pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. All right, one last time. I'm going to move this chocolate away. Make sure it wasn't a fluke. Look at that. I already have a crawdad around it. Second crawdad coming in. Yeah, 100%. These crawdads love this chocolate. This really surprises me. Look at all the fish. Look at all the fish. It just creates a... It's just kind of like a chain reaction. The crawdads come in. The, the chocolate starts to melt away. And then just everything just moves in on that chocolate. And they legit like that chocolate because they're sticking around. Now, here you go. Of course, none of the crawdads decide to come in through the hole that I actually have the GoPro set up on. But we got two in there. There's a third. I think I ended up with just these three in the trap. It wasn't down there very long, but they're definitely willing to figure out a way to get to the chocolate. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm actually really surprised at how much those crawdads liked that chocolate. Like, I thought we might get lucky and maybe a few would like stumble across it in their wanderings along the river floor. And I go, oh, hey, this actually tastes pretty good. But they straight up, like they smelled it out. Like it was as good, if not better, then cut bait. So I left the trap down there. I stuffed it with all of the chocolate that we used today. We're gonna let that soak, come back, and hopefully it will just be cram packed full of crawdads if they're not already full of chocolate already. Many hours later. And we're back. Time to check our trap. We've given it a good long soak. Hopefully there's something in there. We definitely got some crawdads in there. Let's open this up. Yeah, not like the greatest haul ever, but there are definitely some nice craws in there. Let's see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 13. Looks like I've got 13, a baker's dozen. Not the best haul ever, but uh, definitely not too shabby for first time trying the old, uh, trying the old chocolate. I've got a little lady that's never tried crawdad before. So let's get these back and boiled up and have us a little crawdad meal here. Got our cook stuff set up. As always, guys, if you want any of this stuff for yourself, I've got links in the description below to all of this. All right, while our water heats up, I'm also gonna be adding some Kingsford Cajun style seasoning, all purpose seasoning. And we're gonna put a healthy amount in there. So that soaks into the crawdads, that looks good. Then I also brought with me a little Cajun crab boil seasoning. Let me just dump that right in there. That's gonna add the spiciness. Hopefully not too much spice, but you want a little kick to the meat. All right, our water's boiling. Bella, you wanna help me put some crawdads in here? Yeah, she's not dead anymore. Yeah, they're not dead in there yet. They're just on ice. I tell you what, if you wanna get rid of your nose hair, go ahead and take a few whiffs of this stuff because this is potent. All right, here we go. You wanna use the tongs to grab Got some crawdad? Uh-huh. There you go. You grab one. Ah. You got him? There you go. Now you want to put him in the pot? Uh -huh. Put him in our hashtag crawdad hot tub here. There you go. This is your first time ever doing this, isn't it? Drop him in. There you go. Good job. Hey, high five. Yeah. You want to do another one? There you go. Oh, good. Look at you. Look at you. You got a bunch of them there. He's even got an ice cube. Hi, right, can you drop them all in? All right, here they go. Nice and easy. There's one. Well done. Oh, let's get him in there. There we go. Good job, Bella, good job. All right, Bella, we got our crawdad hot tub going on. What do you think? <laughs> You're excited. You've never had crawdad before, have you? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have it for the first time today, aren't we? Yeah. 
Yeah, the park is nice. Yeah, we're hanging out at the park today. Good times. Here we go. Look at that. That's good looking right there. All right, I'm going to set them on the plate. Don't touch them. They're hot, okay, honey? Okay. There we go. That's a good looking plate of crawdads, Bella. Thank you. Okay, Sam. Yep, you can set them right there. <laughs> All right, all of our crawdads have cooked. Now I'm just letting them soak in that water. So hopefully that seasoning kind of soaks into the meat and that meat gets a good flavor to it. Good Cajun flavor is what I'm looking for. All right, little cup of melted butter and we're ready to eat. How do we do this again? Uh, take our crawdad like that. Here, take them just like this. Okay. We'll twist the tail out, dredge them around in some butter. Mm. Whoa, you took the claw off. Good job. Look at that, me. That is pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty cool. Good job, Bella. All right, Arabella's first time with Crawdad. Give it a bite. No, thank you. No, thank you. You don't like him? Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, that was a fail. I did let these soak in that water, so they are a little bit spicier, so maybe she got a little bit of that spice and said no which i can't blame her she's only three years old yeah that's a really nice looking claw right there that's awesome boom here we go big meaty claw i'll never not say that stretch around a little butter mm. That's delicious. YouTube fam, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I will see you in the next 